I'm John Pruitt. And I'm Monica Pearson. All new at 6 within the hour, we talk with DeKalb County Commissioner Sharon Sutton. She was accused of bouncing checks in Gwinnett County. But just minutes ago, we learned charges against her have been dropped. Channel 2's Tom Regan spent the day following a trail of documents. He's live now in DeKalb County. Hi, Monica. I got copies of the arrest warrants and the bounce checks that the commissioner wrote. I spoke with her a short time ago, as you mentioned. She told me she had no idea that these checks did bounce, even though they amounted to over $1,000. She said the notice from the bank was sent to the wrong address. She also said she had no knowledge of the outstanding arrest warrants. Just months before her election to the cab commission, Sharon Barnes Sutton had legal problems trailing behind her. A Gwinnett judge signed four criminal arrest warrants against her for deposit account fraud. In January 2007, she went shopping at this Duluth Costco store and bought over $1,000 in merchandise in one day. We obtained copies of the checks she used at the store, which later bounced. Insufficient funds stamped on the checks. Costco sent the commissioner this letter, warning her it would take out criminal warrants if she failed to make good. A DeKalb County police officer became aware of Commissioner Sutton's warrants while investigating a parking lot fender bender that she was involved in yesterday. Instead of arresting her on the spot, he told her to report to Gwinnett authorities as soon as possible. Questions have arisen as to an incident involving one of our local commissioners last night and some actions that one of my police officers took. Uh, that uh, incident is under review. I do not have any answers as to why the officer took the action that he did. Just a short time ago, I caught up with Commissioner Sutton, who told me it was an honest mistake. So you had no knowledge that you had insufficient funds in your I bank had, account? That's a thousand dollars worth of merchandise you purchased. Well. I had no knowledge, and I didn't write that it wasn't, everything didn't happen at one time, so I don't know, as well, I said. It was all on the same day, though. The checks were written on the same day. Mm -hmm. I don't recall doing that. However, had I known that there were insufficient funds, I would have taken care of it. Well, Commissioner Sutton told me that she went to that Costco store in Duluth today and gave them $1,000 in cash. She didn't write a check to cover those bounced checks. We have not been able to confirm that at this time, but that is perhaps the reason why those warrants were withdrawn late this afternoon. Live at the DeKalb Commission building in Decatur, Tom Regan, Channel 2 Action News.